I'm just checking the background looks clean. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why your manifestation isn't working. So the first step to manifesting is truly believing that it is going to work. So something that could be stopping your manifestation is not believing you're not deserving, having doubt in yourself. You really need to believe that you are a powerful creator. You can create anything that you want and just assume that everything's going to work out fine. Maybe you had a set date that you wanted your manifestation to work. It's important to remember in divine timing. So the date that you may set, even if that's something that you want, may not be the right time the universe or God has for you. Appreciate and understand that divine timing definitely comes into it. And with manifesting, it's also great to say, I want this or something better, because if it doesn't happen when you want it to happen, something better is coming along. You need to believe that if it's not, if it hasn't happened yet, and you feel like you have the belief, you've been doing the scripting, you've been doing the affirmations, you've been acting as if, and it still hasn't come true, then either it's not the right time. Remember, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So if it hasn't happened and you feel gutted, or I got an email, and you feel gutted about it and maybe you're feeling down about it, you have to bring yourself back into alignment that is going to happen. So for example, if you're manifesting to pass an exam and the exam ends, and you didn't pass and you say to yourself the law of attraction doesn't work you really need to think seriously about whether you truly believe how powerful you are whether you were taking steps to help yourself pass were you believing in your studies were you offering yourself time to study that subject did you give it your all did you give yourself the self-belief you can't just manifest and script and believe these things will happen without taking inspired action so if you have a very difficult exam and you put in zero study and you just think oh i'm just gonna pass because i did some affirmations i'm gonna pass my exam it feels good passing my exam Yes, that could happen, but if you put in the work, you're more likely to pass. The law of attraction isn't just about sitting in your room, writing out affirmations, scripting, believing and imagining in a fairy tale world. Let me bring you back down to earth. It's about taking inspired action. It's about the 12 universal laws. It's not just law seven, which is a law of attraction. You have to take into consideration the 12 universal laws. And one of those is taking the inspired action, the law of energy or vibration, the law of cause and effect. Cause and effect could totally be a reason it didn't happen. The cause and effect is putting in the work and getting the outcome of the work that you put in. If you don't put in any work at all, if you do no study, then it's unlikely. I never like to say you can't do it but it's less likely for you to be able to pass the exam without doing the study and putting in the work. Also, if your manifestation doesn't come true and the first thing you think of is, well, I knew manifestation and law of attraction was rubbish anyway. Deep down within yourself, you have a belief that it doesn't work because what we do psychologically is we find things to prove our deep inner limitations and thoughts right. For example, let's say you get into a relationship and you tell yourself, well, he's going to leave me anyway. That's highly likely to happen. Even if you are affirming and you are scripting, but you haven't really uncovered the limiting beliefs or done any shadow work, I'm getting notifications everywhere oh my gosh another reason why you may be blocking yourself from manifesting is you're not revising what you want and you're not doing anything consistently maybe you do it once maybe you do it here and there 
Now, I truly believe to do it when it feels right for you, but if you are in a low vibration, then you do need to push yourself to be a little bit more consistent in your law of attraction, spirituality work, and that could be setting aside maybe five minutes a day just to do some scripting or some affirmations. Another thing is you have to give yourself time to transition. If you're new to manifesting and the law of attraction, start with small things like manifesting a cup of coffee or $10 or someone to send you flowers, something like that to help start you building belief in the law of attraction. Because if you truly don't believe in it, you're pretty much just getting in your own way, you're blocking your manifestations and this could be why they're not working. So in summary, the reasons that you are not manifesting is you don't have self-belief, you haven't uncovered any limiting beliefs that could be in your subconscious, so do a little bit of shadow work to uncover those or journaling, ask yourself questions and then dig deeper and deeper and deeper. A lot of times people with journaling will just kind of get to the surface and then they stop there and think, oh, I've uncovered it. But really it goes real quite deep all the way down to unworthiness. You're not acting as if because you don't really have that self-belief or you have, you're self-sabotaging, you're looking for reasons why the law of attraction doesn't work or you're looking for reasons that you don't deserve your manifestation or you just haven't been provided enough evidence that the law of attraction works. But I'm here to tell you that the law of attraction does work. You can manifest anything that you want if you truly believe in it and believe in yourself you are a powerful creator so by watching this video you're helping build belief on manifestation and the law of attraction i have manifested a lot of things in my life and i've got so many opportunities coming my way at the moment i'm finding it difficult to actually choose the answer between an opportunity that I've pre been presented with because I know that it's something that I've manifested, I've wanted it for a while and then I really have to trust divine timing that it's the right time to do it and also believing that if I don't do it I may be presented the opportunity again. So something that I may have is I keep saying this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and it may well be, but law of attraction, right? I could be saying to myself, this opportunity will come again, but then again, I've wanted it for so long. So this is also me getting in my own way. So that is a great example of getting in your own way and how powerful your thoughts are. Like if you're saying, I can only earn this much money a year and everyone is usually capped to a certain amount of money a year and they don't really see themselves earning much more than that and that's why they always kind of stuck at that level. Maybe they get more money and then they go into debt somehow or a bill comes through that's quite common as well you don't pass an exam and you wonder why but you haven't put in the work so all of things roll into each other you just got to believe in yourself you are very powerful your thoughts are very important and your vibration so just keep focusing on doing things that make you feel really happy speaking to people that make you feel really happy and this will lift you up this will lift you up into a place where you feel good about yourself and when you feel good about yourself you make great decisions and you'll be more clear in your head on what you feel is right for you you'll be more in touch with your emotions and feeling is what the law of attraction and energy is all about it's all in here sometimes up there doesn't really give us the answer that we want like our mind is our logic our mind is trying to keep us safe, it's helping us survive. That's what our mind does, but our heart really truly knows the answer. So it's about finding the balance between those two. But regardless of whether you believe it or not, you've got an energy around you and knowing that you're very powerful and finding joy and staying high vibration is what really is going to make you manifest a lot faster. If you have any specific questions about a manifestation that isn't coming to fruition at the moment please remember in divine timing it will come trust me it will come comment below and I will respond when I can or create another video just for you thanks for watching